There is a significant multinational exercise underway in India, marking the country's first ever multinational air combat exercise. Some of the most renowned and sophisticated aircraft are participating, including the Rafale and Eurofighter Typhoon from Germany, the UK, and Spain. At least six different types of Indian Air Force aircraft are flying alongside the Rafale and Eurofighter from the visiting countries. The exercise involves simulating electronic warfare scenarios, replicating surface-to-air weapons, radars and air defense systems. This environment is designed to mimic various opposition forces that the participating aircraft might face. They operate without a common data link with the visiting air forces from Europe. During this exercise, the IAF Tejas intercepted the Eurofighter Typhoon and Rafale. The German pilot himself mentioned that they were intercepted by the Tejas, which is quite impressive. Um, I flew in today and it was really great that the Indian aircraft came up and intercepted us. So I'm looking forward to fly this exercise. Thanks. Even though it is not as advanced as the MK1A variant. The Tejas MK-1 has a relatively small radar cross-section, which can make it harder to detect, but it is not classified as a stealth aircraft. The Eurofighter Typhoon and Rafale both have advanced radar systems designed to detect and engage threats at long ranges. The Rafale is equipped with the Thales RBE-2 ESA radar, and the Typhoon uses the Captor radar, both of which are highly capable. It is very difficult for the Tejas MK-1 to completely avoid detection by these advanced radars. However, with effective use of AWACS, electronic warfare, tactical maneuvers and ground support, it might reduce the detection range or delay detection long enough to get closer. During joint military exercises, especially in multinational settings, fighter jets often operate under strict rules of engagement, which include not using certain systems like fire control radars. Fire control radars emit specific frequencies and patterns that can be used to identify the aircraft's radar systems. If these frequencies are detected and recorded by other participants, they could potentially be used to counter or spoof the radar in a real conflict scenario. By keeping these radars off, nations can protect sensitive information about their radar systems. The exercise may have been structured so that certain aircraft simulated enemy forces, and the Tejas was tasked with intercepting them without the advantage of advanced radar detection. This could demonstrate the Tejas' ability to close in on targets under certain conditions. When operating in their own or allied airspace, fighter jets typically have access to integrated air defense systems, including ground-based radars and other surveillance systems, these systems provide early warning and situational awareness, helping to detect and track potential threats. As the exercise itself was conducted with no data link connectivity, real-time sharing of information between various platforms, including ground control, AWACS, and other assets, was not possible. Other factors, such as the Tejas MK-1 utilizing terrain, speed, and angles to approach the typhoon in a way that minimized detection or maximized interception opportunities could also have played a role. The purpose of exercises is often to test the capabilities of aircraft in various scenarios, not necessarily to simulate real combat. The objective might have been to test how well the Tejas MK-1 could perform in a specific role, such as interception, under certain conditions.